I don't want you to think I'm training for the Olympics or anything, but I find this place ideal to run. Incidentally, we're in Tenerife, which is part of the Canary Islands, seven islands in all, off the coast of Africa. All of the islands belong to Spain. Main language is Spanish, obviously. I sometimes play up here, um, sort of, you know, using my music room at home. Sometimes I come and I play and I go through many repetitions of various things. I find that the four walls of a music room get a little boring when I could just put, you know, my snare drum in my car and come up here and look at all this and play all day and not be bothered. touring with the group Arthur Brown, I mean, this man was, you know, as they say in America now, out to lunch completely. We would check into a hotel, he'd ask for his room key, walk directly out into the pool area, and sort of jump off the board, fully clothed, with his suitcase, and walk back into reception and say, I don't like my room. <laughs> I was 18, 18 and a half when I joined that group. And the group had a number one single and album at the same time in America. So I thought, wow, this is definitely it for me, you know. I always said that, you know, if that group broke up, that I'd try and get another group together and go back to America. And I did, and the group was Atomic Rooster. But I never went back into America because I had a phone call from a certain Mr. Lake asking me if I would uh, like to join uh, him with Mr. Emerson. And uh, that was the start of uh, Emerson, Lake and Palmer, or as uh, we know it in the business, Henderson, Snake and Charmer. broken. Oh, that's fatal. In Spain, for your horn not to work, excuse the expression, I don't believe it. That's absolutely fatal. I'm flabbergasted. That means I can't create a fuss in the street now. Damn it. As you can see, this is a bit too big to take up the mountain. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's great having a girl and not a boy. Because I'll tell you, if I had a boy, just think I'd have to spend all that time teaching her how to play. And then she'd always be, he would always be compared to me. But this way, when you have a girl, there are so many th more things that she can be part of, be involved in. And if she could be something, I mean, a lawyer would be nice. You know, keep the legal fees down. That'd be nice, Chris, if you could do a bit of that for me. <laughs> things that I really enjoy about being here is that there's very little music and that is really good for me because it makes me concentrate on my own personal things which I'm still studying and I'm not influenced by anybody and it's a case of just knuckling down and doing what I've got to do. 